G'day everyone, Tim from vMix here, and in this video, we're talking about laptops for vMix. It's 2020, and we're currently recommending the 10th gen i7 or i9 Intel processors and the 4000 series AMD laptops, both with NVIDIA 1660 GPUs or higher. Now, if you wanna find a little bit more information about those, stick around. So on the vMix website, we have a vMix reference systems page where you can see all of the exact parts we recommend for different productions. Now, we also have one for recommended laptop systems and that is called the Sapphire reference system. So if you hear us talking about Sapphires, we're not pivoting into a jewelry making company just yet, we're talking about laptops. Now, before I get started, keep in mind that laptop stock, that's hard to say, laptop stock fluctuates a lot and it feels like as soon as we make a recommendation, you can't buy the laptop anymore. Or perhaps they make the same model, but feel like they need to call it something just slightly different. So if you check out the supported hardware page, you'll be able to see the recommended specifications. So if you can't find a specific model that we recommend, then you can get one with the right specs. Now I'll be talking about two laptop models today, and they both have their advantages depending on what you're trying to do. Firstly, we have the Dell Alienware M15 R3. Now this has a six core Intel i7-750H processor, GTX 1660 Ti graphics card, 16 gig of RAM, G-Sync display, Thunderbolt 3, and I went ahead and updated the hard drive to be a 500 gig M.2 SSD. Now, if you plan on using a Thunderbolt capture device like the AJA IO 4K Plus, or perhaps building your own Thunderbolt enclosure and capture card, then this is going to be a good option. Now this laptop also has a G-Sync display, which allows you to get the best performance out of vMix. Many laptops attempt to conserve power by routing the display via the integrated graphics instead of the dedicated graphics card. This is done by a utility called Optimus and G-Sync display laptops will either not have Optimus enabled or give you the option to turn it off. It's important to be able to bypass Optimus completely, which can only be done on laptops that offer G-Sync displays. By not using Optimus, you'll see smooth video on your displays for your live input previews and high frame rate content. It'll also give you the smoothest video playback for your full screen outputs. So there are some very new laptops with something called Advanced Optimus on them. Uh, as there aren't any that we can buy, we can't really test them out. So we don't really have any idea of the performance with vMix and how those particular laptops are going to work. A laptop like this will allow you to produce, record and stream a four camera full HD production without any problems. If you can't find this model, then what you'd be looking for is a laptop with an Intel 10th Gen i7-1070H or better, GTX 1660Ti or better, G-Sync and Thunderbolt 3. Now we'll update the Sapphire reference system page if these parts change. Now usually the next gen CPUs and GPUs work the same or better. So check out our website for all of the latest updates. Now one thing to keep in mind is that if you do want Thunderbolt, make sure that the laptop supports Thunderbolt. Now I know that sounds absolutely crazy, but just because it has a USB-C port doesn't mean that it's Thunderbolt. Check the manufacturer's website if you have any doubt at all. Now, if you are looking for a more powerful Intel laptop, you could look at an i9 CPU or perhaps rank up to a higher GPU as well, like a 2070 or a 2080 Ti or something like that. Okay, so let's move on to option two. We thought we'd throw in a cheaper option for those that aren't looking to do Thunderbolt capture. So we bought an AMD 4800H based laptop for those looking for a more affordable option if you're looking to do USB and or NDI capture. Now this one here is an ASUS Tough Gaming A15 and has an eight core AMD Ryzen 7 4800H processor, GTX 1660 Ti GPU, 16 gig of RAM and 512 gigabyte SSD. This will allow you to do a multicam USB or NDI production with recording and streaming in full HD. As this doesn't have Thunderbolt, you'll be reliant on other external capture options. This can either be USB 3 or perhaps NDI or NDI HX. Typically USB options will give you two HD sources into a production just due to the USB bandwidth limitations and other peripherals that you might have on the computer. However, you could get some NDI converters and run a local network and bring in multiple NDI sources to your production. Using the AMD laptop, 
might actually be a better fit for productions that mainly have NDI sources due to more cores and better processor performance. Now keep in mind that the laptop doesn't have G-Sync, so this may often result in less than smooth playback on full screen outputs if you have too many inputs in your production. However, this shouldn't affect the vast majority of vMix users. Now, if you aren't able to find the particular model we're talking about today and you want an AMD laptop, you'd be looking for a Ryzen 7 4800H or better. And for the graphics card, you'd be looking for something like a GTX 1660 Ti or better. And then obviously you'd need things like 16 gig of RAM and then a suitable size SSD for the laptop. Again, if you wanted to level up your AMD laptop, you could look at the 4900 series of processors and then again, perhaps a beefier GPU than the 1660 Ti. So we tend to use laptops quite a bit, especially for our trade show setups, as you can walk into most computer or appliance stores in any major city and pick one up. They also have an inbuilt monitor, they're super portable and they're easy to store. So we're able to create productions on our laptops to show people how to use vMix with USB sources and also NDI as well. Now we actually run our entire IBC booth off laptops and we do have a number of them sitting in a storage shed in Amsterdam, which reminds me we really need to renew that. We're not gonna be there anyway, 2020. So for those laptops, we knew that we didn't need Thunderbolt. So basically we just found a couple of HP Omens uh, that had the latest i7 Intel processor, dedicated GPU and G-Sync. So there are plenty of options available out there. It's a matter of working out your budget, how complex your production is, and what sort of capture devices you want to use. Now, I actually still travel with a three-year-old laptop, this one here, i7. It's got a 1060 Thunderbolt and it's got G-Sync as well. So I'll use it at all day events like NAB New York. So you can usually find like last gen CPUs for quite a bit cheaper if you don't need the bragging rights of having the latest and greatest laptops. It's going to work really well anyway. So I should just clear that up. That's specifically for Intel laptops. We've been recommending them for many years. So if you can find a seventh gen, eighth gen, ninth gen i7, then you could use one of those. If you're looking for an AMD based laptop, we recommend going for the latest 4000 series. So either 4800 or a 4900 processor. In the description, I'll link a guide to some of the best practices for using a laptop. For example, you're definitely going to want to keep your laptop plugged into the power and not use the battery. Most laptops will decrease their performance when on the battery, which is really not great for live video production, encoding and all that kind of stuff. Now, one of the big things is removing all of the bloatware on the laptop. For some reason, laptop manufacturers like to put a ton of stuff on there. So things like weird audio features that you never use, configurator tools, free dodgy virus scanners and all that kind of stuff can cause a ton of problems. So basically with this Dell Alienware here, I pretty much had to gut everything with the words Alienware in the name of the application because we were running tests and we were having a problem. We pretty much just had to strip it full of all of that bloatware to get it to be working as it should. There'll also be some information on that guide regarding how to set up your graphics card to work with vMix and that sort of thing. So don't forget to check out that guide. It's linked in the description. Now, if you ever have any questions about laptop specs, feel free to drop us an email via the support page on vmix.com. If you include a link to the laptop you're interested in, we can take a look and give you some feedback. Don't leave any links in the comments, um, just send us an email and we'll take a look. It's much, much, much easier. If you do wanna keep up with the latest recommendations, check out the reference systems page on vmix.com. So thanks for watching and we'll stream you later. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vMix video or head to vmix.com for a free 60-day trial. See you later.